What's going on everybody? Andrew Bond coming back to you with another video. In today's episode, we are gonna be featuring the Sony A6300 camera. And the reason why is because you guys asked, so that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna deliver on what you guys asked for. This week, I asked my Instagram followers what they wanted to see me review next on the channel. And overwhelmingly, a lot of people said they wanna see what I use to film my videos and how I achieve the crisp 4K quality that I get on all my B-roll shots. Well, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. The Sony A6300. 6300. Now, of course, there are other accessories attached to this rig, and I'm going to not only show you the camera, but I'm going to show you the accessories. I'm going to tell you why I chose those accessories, what they do, and I'll link it all down below. So if you want to replicate this rig, you can easily do that. Just go ahead and check that out. But let's get straight into this review. Okay, guys, first up, let's talk about the hardware components that make up the camera rig. Obviously, the heart of the rig is the Sony A6300 camera body that is surrounded by a compact yet customizable camera cage. Featured on the face of the camera, you're going to notice that I've added a Sony 10 to 18 millimeter wide angle lens. And on top of that, I have my Rode Video Go shotgun style microphone. Next up, if you look to the left, I've added a Sony 1080p LCD monitor, and that is connected by a small rig double ball swivel joint mount. This basically just gives me a bigger picture than the built-in screen on the A6300 camera body. And last but certainly not least, you're gonna find all of my camera gear is mounted on top of a Manfrotto tripod. Now, as you heard me mention before, I really think that this exact combination of hardware is special. It's really unique. And in my opinion, it really gives me the competitive edge that I need when it comes to filming my videos. It's really important to understand that I am not a photographer, a videographer by any means, and I've never had any professional training whatsoever. And even though I'm still a rookie, I feel like my videos still look really, really great. Starting off with the Sony a6300, when it comes to video, this this camera is nothing short of amazing. First off, I love this camera because it's so thin and so compact. Because of this, you can easily maneuver the camera in and out of tight areas. You can remain a bit more inconspicuous if you happen to be vlogging or filming in a public space. And also, I think it goes without saying, but I'll say it anyway, smaller hardware definitely makes it that much easier to transport, especially if you're considering flying. One thing you'll be sure to notice almost immediately is that this camera has really sharp 4K resolution that is sure to impress your audience. The A6300 comes equipped with a 6K sensor that's actually scaled down to 4K, and that, ladies and gentlemen, equals jaw-dropping 4K content. I absolutely love it. Maybe the best feature on the A6300 is the autofocus. If you happen to be new to film or photography like I am, then autofocus is probably gonna be your best friend, at least until you further familiarize yourself with your gear. As long as you equip the A6300 with a native Sony lens, then this is sure to be some of the fastest responding autofocus on any camera in today's market. And that's really saying something because this camera is actually three years old. Surrounding the A6300, I have a simple yet effective camera cage. Now, even though this isn't very fancy, and I mean, seriously, I probably got this for like 20 or 30 bucks on Amazon. I forget what the price is, but like I said, I'll have everything linked in the description below so you guys can just check that out later. Uh, but like I was saying, even though it's not very fancy, it really does get the job done, and I mean that. I love that it's so compact and customizable because depending on lighting and the environment I am in, I find myself changing attachments on my cameras quite often so to have something that allows me to quickly and efficiently adapt to my environment is really really crucial especially if I need to quickly capture the moment. Another drawback that you're going to find on the A6300 is that it does not have any swivel LCD screen built into the body. So whether you like to vlog or you're simply looking for a way to step up your video quality, you can do what I did and you can add an external Sony LCD monitor. Doing this, I can really get a good idea of how my video is going to look once I import it onto my computer. This particular monitor is featured with a 1080p resolution screen and also connects via HDMI cable. My favorite piece of hardware on my camera rig is actually the thing I spent the least amount of money on. And it's kind of funny to me because, you know, something that is seemingly so insignificant as far as price actually really steps up the convenience factor. And I absolutely love it and couldn't recommend it more. 
Uh, it's the double ball joint that is connecting the camera cage to the LCD monitor. This thing is really, really nice. And when I switch from vlogging style video videoing to getting behind my camera, it really allows me to pop that monitor, flip it around, move it around in different ways that I need to, to really get honed in very, very quickly. And speaking of efficiency, this thing is absolutely awesome. One drawback you'll notice to the Sony a6300 is there's no in-body image stabilization. But before you freak out about that, if you go ahead and purchase the lens that I'm recommending to you, it actually has built-in optical image stabilization right inside the lens. So you're able to achieve those really smooth pans and videos without any specialized stabilizers or gimbals. The key features I want to point out about this lens is that it has a nice wide angle on it. Like I said, it does scale from 10 to 18 millimeters. It gives really, really sharp 4K. The color spectrum is unbelievable. It also looks really great whether you're in natural light, studio light, or something in between. So this is going to be perfect if you're a vlogger or if you have a YouTube channel in general. So one thing I want to caution any new video content creators out there on do not go cheap when it comes to the tripod. This is a really, really key component to the whole system. It's not only the base that's gonna hold up and stabilize all of your camera rig, but also you're gonna want one that's nice and has a fluid head on the top of it, just like feature on my Manfrotto tripod. Yeah, it does cost a couple hundred dollars. It costs several hundred dollars, in fact. But the thing is, that's how you can achieve really, really nice, smooth B-roll shots. And if you're a beginner and you can't really afford a slider or any other really fancy gimbals or stabilizers, this is gonna be your key to making really, really entertaining content. So I can't recommend enough that you go pick, a, it doesn't need to be Manfrotto technically, but just make sure you don't go super, super cheap because cheap pr tripods are really, really awful. You're gonna have to take my word for it. And if you're watching this video, you may or may not have already experienced that. So that's one thing I will say is that has made a big difference in the video quality that I have been able to present to my viewers. One thing I wanna really quickly clarify to everybody who's watching this, if you're an aspiring photographer and you're looking for your very first camera setup and you haven't done your own research yet, I wouldn't recommend this particular setup to you. I'm not saying that the camera's bad because it does take good, high quality, crisp photos. However, maybe it's just a different choice in lenses or something along those lines, but whatever. This thing is set up mainly for vlogging or product reviews or different types of YouTube videos. That's what this setup is for if you're looking to do photography, this isn't it for you. Go seek a professional photographer or a photography channel on YouTube or a page on Instagram and really do your research before you just go ordering this stuff because this stuff is not the cheapest thing out there. And I want to make sure that you guys are fully educated watching my video and just understand where I'm coming from. This, like I said, I don't do photography. I make video. So that's what the setup is for. Well guys, that is gonna wrap up today's video. If you did enjoy it, please leave a thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. Don't forget if you're new here to hit that subscribe button and let me know down in the comments section below what you guys wanna see me review next because I do listen apparently because this is what I reviewed today per your request, but make sure you go follow me on Instagram. My handle is out of the box underscore YouTube. I'll go ahead and uh, link that or copy it or whatever. You guys will be able to find it. But anyway, go follow that page because I do post exclusive content. I do giveaways and I do take a lot of feedback and have a lot of great conversations with the viewers on there. So go be a part of that community and let me know what you guys want to see me review next until I see you on the next video. We out.